This video will be more of a for-the-record piece than an explanation about Islam that you wouldn't have otherwise known about. Muslims say that Islam is a religion of peace, and they peace its founder, Muhammad, even more. Peace be upon him, blessings be upon him, they say, after every mention of his name. So, why is this bad? Well, first, it's a lie. Now that you've heard the summary of the Quran and Islam's history, you know Islam isn't peaceful. But where's the harm in praising Muhammad? I tell you, it's the same harm as praising Hitler. Anyone who venerates an immoral man is virtually saying that he was a good example and other people should be more like him. This video exposes the utter duplicity of exalting a warlord as the bringer of a supposedly peaceful religion. Jihad terrorists may be labeled extremists who've lost their way, according to stealth Muslims, but Muhammad sets the example. I have taken the time to put together no less than 70 terrorist raids Muhammad instigated against anyone who had something he wanted. They are from the earliest Islamic historians, the ones closest to the time and place of the events, even Ishaq and Al-Tabari. They specify the time of the raid, the participants, the intended target, and usually the reason for fighting. Muslim protests to the reliability of these scriptures are unfounded, and they have nothing better to rely upon anyway. But evidence speaks louder than my accusations, so without further ado, Tabari. Tabari 9, verse 115. The military expeditions, Ghazwat, in which the messenger personally participated were 26. Some say that there were 27. Tabari 9, verse 118. The armies and raiding parties sent by the messenger of Allah between the time he came to Medina and his death, 10 years, was 35. A subsequent hadith claims, the armies and raiding parties sent by the messenger were 48. This means we could take the 26 slash 27 raids Muhammad was in and add it to the 35 or 48 he wasn't in. That comes out to a minimum of 61 or maximum of 75. I looked them all up individually. I found 71. The rest of this video will be nothing but me reading them. When I am through, you will know for sure that terrorists have not corrupted their religion. They are being good Muslims. Muhammad's Terrorist Raids 1. Tabari In Ramadan, seven months after the Hijra, or migration to Mecca, Muhammad entrusted a white war banner to Hamza with command of 30 immigrants. The, their aim was to intercept a Quraysh caravan. 2. Tabari Eight months after the Hijra, Allah's messenger entrusted a white war banner to Ubaida and ordered him to march to Batan Ragba. He reached the pass of Moriah near Jufa and at the head of 60 immigrants without a single Ansari or Medina Muslim among them. They met the polytheists at a watering place called Aya. They shot arrows at one another, but there was no hand-to-hand -hand fighting. 3. Ishaq Then the apostle went raiding in the month of Rabi ul Al making for the Quraysh. He returned to Medina without fighting. 4. Then he raided the Quraysh by way of Dinar. 5. Tabari. In this year, the messenger entrusted to Saad a white war banner for the expedition to Karar. Saad said, I set out on foot at the head of 20 men. We used to lie hidden by day and march at night until we reached Karar on the fifth morning. The caravan had arrived in town a day before. There were 60 men with it. Those who were with Saad were all immigrants. 6. Tabari The messenger of Allah went out on a raid as far as Wadan, searching for the Quraysh, in the course of which the Banu Damra made a treaty of friendship with him. Then Muhammad returned to Medina without any fighting and remained there until the rest of the month. 7. Tabari during this stay, he sent Ubaida at the head of 60 horsemen from the immigrants without a single Ansari among them. He got as far as a watering place in Hijaz, Central Arabia, below the pass of Mara. There he met a, gr there he met a greater band of Quraysh, but there was no fighting except Sad shot an arrow. Then the two groups separated from one another, the Muslims leaving a rear guard. 8. Tabari Muhammad led an expedition in the month of Rabi al-Akhir in search of the Quraysh. He went as far as Buat in the region of Radwa and then returned without any fighting. 9. Then he led another expedition in search of the Meccans. He took the mountain track and crossed the desert, halting beneath a tree at Batha. He prayed there. What on earth was he praying for? Oh God, please help me rob and kill these people. Thank you, Amen. 10. 
After a few days the prophet went out in pursuit of the Kuts. 11. Tabari. In this year, according to all Sira writers, the messenger personally led the Ghazwa of Alwa. A Ghazwa is an Islamic invasion in Allah's cause, consisting of a large army unit led by the prophet himself. He left Sa'ad in command of Medina. On this raid, his banner was carried by Hamza. He stayed out for 15 days, then returned to Medina. 12. In this year, Muhammad sent forth the immigrants to intercept a Quraysh caravan en route to Syria. His war banner was carried by Hamza. 13. Ishaq and Tabari. Ali and I were with the messenger on the Ghazwa of Ushara. 14. Ishaq. Meanwhile, the apostle sent Sa'ad on the raid of Abu Waqqas. The prophet only stayed a few nights in Medina before raiding Ushara and then Kurtz. 15. The messenger sent Abd Allah out with a detachment of eight men of the immigrants without any Ansari or helpers among them. He wrote a letter but ordered him not to look at it until he had traveled for two days. Then he was to carry out what he was commanded to do. When Abd Allah opened the letter, it said, March until you reach Nakla between Mecca and Taif. Lie and wait for the Quraysh there and find out for us what they are doing. For the record, this is the first Muslim booty. 16. Tabari and Isha. The apostle heard that Abu Sufyan, a Meccan merchant, was coming from Syria with a large Quraysh caravan containing their money and their merchandise. He was accompanied by only 30 men. Ishaq. Muhammad summoned the Muslims and said, This is their Quraysh caravan containing their property. Go out and attack it. Perhaps Allah will give it to us as prey. 17. Tabari. In this year, there was the expedition of the messenger to Uhud. In year 3 of the Islamic era, or March 625, the Quraysh were provoked against the messenger because he had killed their nobles and chiefs at Badar. Muhammad has bereaved us and killed our best men, so help us defend ourselves against him and perhaps we will obtain vengeance for those he has slain. 18. Tabari and Isha. Muhammad personally led his men against the Nadir and halted in their quarter. The Jews took refuge against him in their homes, so he ordered their date palms to be cut down and burnt. Tabari, the messenger of Allah, besieged the Nadir Jews for 15 days. In the end, they made peace with him on the condition that the Prophet would not kill them and that their property and their coats of mail would be his. 19. Tabari and Isha. There is a difference of opinion as to which of his expeditions, terrorist raids, took place after the one against the Banu Nadir. Some say Muhammad remained in Yathrib for two months before leading a raid on Najad, directed against the Banu Murayb and the Thab Laba. As the armies approached one another, no fighting took place because our army was afraid of theirs. 20. Tabari We went out with a messenger on a raid to Dat Rika in the neighborhood of Nakal. At one point, a Muslim killed a polytheist woman. 21. Tabari and Ishaq in the fourth year of the Islamic era, the Prophet led a raid against the Dumat Janda because word had reached him that they had approached his territories. 22. Tabari What brought on the Battle of the Trench, according to what has been reported, was related to the expulsion of the Banu Nadir from their settlements by Allah's Apostle. 23. Ishaq and Tabari Muhammad besieged the Quraysh Jews for 25 nights. When the siege became too severe, Allah terrorized them. Then they were told to submit to the judgment of Allah's messenger. Tabari, the messenger of Allah commanded that all of the Jewish men and boys who had reached puberty should be beheaded. Then the Prophet divided the wealth, wives, and children of the Banu Quraysh Jews among the Muslims. 24. Tabari, Allah's messenger set out six months after the conquest of the Quraysh. He went to Lilian, seeking vengeance for the men betrayed at Faji. To take the enemy by surprise, he pretended to go north. Then he veered to the left, and having passed Yayan, he, his route led him directly by the main road of Mecca. 25. Ishaq and Tabari When Allah's messenger heard about the Mustalik gathered against him, he sent out and met them at their watering holes near the coast. The people advanced and fought fiercely. Allah calls the Mustalik to fight and killed some of them. Allah gave the apostle their children, women, and property as booty. 26. Tabari. Umar said, Messenger, will you without arms or horses enter the territory of people who were at war with you? So the Prophet sent men back to Medina, and they gathered all the horses and weapons they could find. 
When they approached Mecca, they prohibited him from entering, so they marched to Mina. Muhammad's spy brought him word that Irkma was coming out with 500 men. Muhammad said, Khalid, your parental uncle's son is coming against you. Khalid replied, I am the sword of Allah and the sword of his messenger. Direct me to whatever you wish. Muhammad sent him in command of horsemen, and he met Irkma in the canyon and routed him, driving him back into Mecca. Khalid then routed him twice more.